And why is every podcast a bunch of successful comedians being like, oh, that fucking room, man. <laughs> you, you don't have uh, one. You're I go on shows. I can't be me. <laughs> you, you, you don't do one. I can't say whatever I want. <laughs> Fuck that. I'm not doing Fallon if I can't say Tranny. So there's not one city that you're like, no, fuck that city? there has 100%, to be. 100%. Run the cameras. Are there has in? to Roll be. Roll the fucking oh, we're, cameras. We're in. We're in. Right. When it comes, ladies and gentlemen, Whitney. she's coming in hot. Fucking she's critiquing coming. us. She's saying that we're not allowed to have feelings. Dude, that's like my dad. <laughs> I literally, I went to my dad the other day with a problem in life, and he told me to compartmentalize. He goes, well, Trevor, you just got to compartmentalize and well, keep that's working. horrible advice. Not, not good. Compartmentalize My therapist, horrible. I was like, this He's is like, the opposite. Like what I did when I was raising you. I yes. compartmentalize. 100%. <laughs> 100%. When I was with you, I was your dad. When I wasn't, I was a single man. I was yeah. shoving feelings out. That's <laughs> exactly. How I do it. And then he had a receding hairline at 22. So it's not good to compartmentalize. All right. That's what happens, dude. You push stuff down, your hairline drifts back. Anyone with a great hairline doesn't give That's a That's such a vague piece of advice that means nothing but sounds good. It's it dad great. advice. That's just. Dads give advice like a Nike commercial, like, yeah, just do it. Just compartmentalize. <laughs> just put it down there. Just, just Well, I think, dude, I think at, at some point when you're a dad, dude, you you've done, you've dealt with feelings so much yeah, that oh, now yeah. your kid had less feelings. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Less feelings. Interesting. Okay. So you were telling, well, first of all, uh, can we just get a shot of the amount of drinks that we have in the corner over here? There's one, two, three, four, five, six. Is that six? I, I would like and to say, two loose pretzels. Loose pretzels. Loose pretzels. This is what I would like to say. You get Everybody, to have a drink for every hour special you've done. Every, wow. That's, well, that's I got to take I don't all my one. drinks yeah. down. Yeah. Do you um, want mine? <laughs> yeah. You probably signed a deal with Netflix. You have multiple. <laughs> would you yeah. have a new special out right now? Let's just plug it right now. Everyone, wait till the end. How's the special doing? Where did you film it? It's did you enjoy great. it? I shot it in Newark, New Jersey. Wow. At the airport? I know. I was. No, not at the airport. That that airport is god awful. What in the hell is happening in that shape like airport? a bong? What do you guys like? Uh, uh, pussy. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> where are you from? I know where you're from. Uh, Maryland. Where? Uh, Silver Spring, Maryland. Okay, I know yeah. it. I grew up in D.C. Shut your Went mouth. Like actually D.C. Yes, Georgetown. Where in D.C. Our street. How do you feel okay. about? I went, to, I went to Holy Trinity. My sister went, you went to, to Holy. Trinity. Fuck. I went to Good Council High School. Okay, you know I know it. Yeah, yeah. And uh, my mom was a teacher at Walt Whitman in Bethesda. Shut up. My sister went to Whitman, and I graduated from St. Andrews uh, in Potomac. All yeah. they sound like private schools. Uh, they, she's wealthy. I mean, she's talking about Potomac. So wealthy. But Crazy. even in the early days? No, I didn't have money okay. back then. We, my mom was a gold digger. Um, but no, hey. we went from like rental to rental. And, got it, got it, got it. You know, got it, got whatever, it. Yeah. yeah. It was some, some guy paid for my school. Some just some dude. Some dude. Can we sure unpack that? Was or, I yeah. was the first bitch like doing on Kickstarter. Things. I just had to actually. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Go Let's door go. Door. Let's get the um, GoFundMe started. But yeah, so no, I really like you guys. I don't know either of you. I think I like to start podcasts out great so that the viewer audience member doesn't have to feel uncomfortable and cringy with like, are they pretending to be friends? Are they friends? Right. Like, do oh. they know? I don't like it when I go to podcasts and someone's like, this is my good friend Whitney, and I'm like, or, yeah, I don't. How fucking... do you feel when they do that on stage about to bring you? Hey, out? I don't... My best friend. Well, that's fine so because long. then I at least get to. But if I have to be with you guys and you just told people that we're either closer than they yeah. think, we told or everybody we're than best friends. Yeah. yeah, I just. I told people I was an EP on your special just to help. So please, the yeah. I told people yeah. you're my sister, so this is fine. Yeah, yeah we might. I mean, in love. we might be in yeah. a weird way. Okay. My dad might have piped your mom. Who knows? <laughs> who knows? Hey, my yo. dad has money. Your mom likes money. What and... is your mom? Your dad ha like had? Nah, it's fine. He Do you know what it chains. was from? Do you know what his like? Yeah, he did? hard work, laundering. laundering. Okay, I'm just laundering. saying. Passion. A lot of he's a Jew. So they just give Jews money. Okay. No, he he was in- That was, was a great Adam Carolla impression. Thank you. It was the voice and everything. <laughs> Thank you. No, but I think it's important to know because I never know with when I meet people that have really rich parents or trust funds and stuff. At first I get jealous, but then I'm like, wait a second, what is your- And then you realize that their father was like responsible for every child born with fins in West Virginia because right. they like run <laughs> DuPont or something. And you're like, oh, that's blood money. Never hey. mind. I'm not jealous anymore. Right, right, right. Um, No, he, he was- he, Honestly, he was just in tech when he should have been in tech. Smart. You know what I mean? It wasn't like, he, he is a very uh, smart, motivated man, mm -hmm. but he just was right time, right place. I'm sure. You're talking like you have never met him. <laughs> well, yeah, that's, that, like why do you think I'm doing this? Talking about <laughs> know, he did say. leave the family yeah. really early on. I yeah. will say yeah. that. Left the family. What's dip, your trauma Florida. that made you do comedy? Uh, I was never really good at anything growing up. Never sports, school or anything. Then I did stand up when I was 17 for the first time. And the first like pop of like laughter, I like blacked out. And I was like, whoa, is this what it feels like to be decent at something? Yeah. So you were ignored? 
Yeah. I was always like the, the runt in the group. Like I hung out with the older kids, but people would talk shit and pick on me building personality. Mm -hmm. And now those guys work at like a Craig in or like an auto parts place. Don't so you love if the way lucky. that we now put a silver lining around emotional abuse. We're like, I got abused and it made yeah, me funny. But have you seen comics that weren't abused? I think I love no. Awful. No, Awful. no, but I, I just love that idea of like, I'm like, and then after I was molested, that's when I realized I had nothing to lose. And yeah. I got, so thank you. To and then my I moved yeah. to Burbank yeah. and started yeah. my yeah. career in flappers. My <laughs> uncle fucked me in the shed and I got a great punchline. So <laughs> who cares? hundred yeah. percent. And a new shed. But, but did you, did you have sibling, older siblings? I have one older sibling. So you're the, you're the youngest. That makes sense. The youngest. Okay. Yeah. And I just like never really did anything. And then I, dude, what I was, do you mean? I, 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 I smoked was weed out of a This doesn't add up. I was going to stop him I literally was, we like would ride skateboards and bikes around Who's town. We? You and me your... and my neighbors, my friends, and, and I smoked weed out of a light bulb in eighth grade. So I was headed down a dark path. I wasn't doing anything. And then my mom. No, cut it was up. a light bulb. It was really yeah, lit up. Guys, right, come, come on. on. Come on. Right. Time Adam's 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 it Adam's was a good Adam, idea. Hey, come on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bing. All right. But, um, and then I just wasn't headed to a right place. Mm -hmm. And then my mom literally cut out something from the newspaper. Do you ever do Ventura Harbor Comedy Club? Um, it's right next to Oxnard. It's not going that poorly for me, but. Okay. There is never a bad place to do comedy. Yeah, you're just saying you would never complain There's about doing shows. There's never a bad place to do comedy. If they're and paying that place for you. Was good. They paid you in a bread bowl. All right, so it was a nice place. They no, I the love the spots. Oxnard Improv, which is up there. But which I would... I'm doing September 16th through the 18th. Shameless plug. I'm doing that too. August 24th. I'm gonna sorry. call my agent and bump them right now, and I'll be doing that weekend. <laughs> actually, could. I want. You know what? Good. I really wanted to do that week. Now that you've said it out loud, oh, I just crazy. I don't want to do that weekend. Is that you cool? know what? I got a spot to host, so come on down. Um, the Oxnard. Oxnard Improv is truly, I want to shoot stuff down there when I'm really? down in, uh, really? in the next couple months just to shoot stuff for like social media and stuff. It's just such a great energy. I've never been. Oh, oh they drink. They, they get drink, after it. And it's, you know oh. what it is? It's like all the good parts of Southern California without like the conservative, like. It doesn't feel like an LA crowd. It feels like a road crowd. Yeah. That's yes. how Irvine was for me. Irvine was fantastic. I oh, thought really? It, oh, I thought it'd be really weird. You look like what Hitler wanted. Racists <laughs> love you. You know, I am a Jew too. So that, Are you? Oh, yeah. Wallace? Yeah. Dad's Christian and neglected. Dad's Christian. <laughs> Mom is Jewish. But most most but, uh, Christian boys were not neglected. They were given too much attention. Hold up. Yeah. Hey, Priest, below the waist. Hey. Hello. Uh, but yeah, my mom was Jewish, and then that's how it works. If the mom's Jewish, whole family. Oh Jewish. right, but you got the dad's everything. name. Yeah. Yep. What was her maiden name? Rosenthal. Okay. Very, yes. very J. Uh -huh. Very oh. Jew. Yeah. So I had a bar mitzvah and everything. I looked like I was on the what is it? The old school Kings of Comedy. I looked like one of those dudes in my in the, <laughs> like in the pants. You just were dressed suit. like Sinbad. Steve Harvey. Yeah. yeah. I do. Uh, uh, what do you call it? Zoot suits. Like yeah. a purple pinstripe. Yeah. I'll, I'll send Gabe a photo of it. But yeah, I had like a suit that was way too big for me. I had a shitty bowl cut, and I was just. So what? Maybe that could have been part. Of, did you at your bat mitzvah speak? bar bar mitzvah bar? bar. Sorry. Yeah, sorry. So let's, I don't let's see gender. So I'm, religion. you know. <laughs> but um, yeah, you got to know who's. I, I wait. Hold yeah. on. I was, Whoa, is there a gender it, neutral? Huh? Bar, what is the gender neutral bar mitzvah or bat mitzvah? It's just a. I don't. I don't think there is. You it's combine a bar the two. Or bat. Barat. Yeah. Oh, I see what you're saying. You're trying to find one. Yeah, barat. yeah, yeah. Barat mitzvah. But also, um, hold on. This is because I feel like those seminal moments of our childhood, how they went basically decided our psyche in terms of moving forward in a yeah, lot of yeah, ways, yeah. Yeah. you know, like That's all therapy is like, how was your childhood? Yeah. And, but, but like the specific seminal moments that formed us, like, I think you grow and change and grow, but there's times where it's like a cataclysmic, like I can't trust anyone or fuck men or whatever. Like, did anything happen at your bat mitzvah that was stressful? Did you give a speech? Did it go well? Did you actually, was that your first performance in front of a crowd? I bombed. For your own friends. You did bomb? Oh, yeah. Well, bomb here's mitzvah? the thing. There's the, hey, hey, oh, the bomb <laughs> mitzvah title. There it there is. There we go. Uh, but there's, there's no, like, um, you just memorize a paragraph and that's it. It's literally the worst scheme ever. But did you just feel collect good? money from family and friends just for, I don't know. I was so young. I, all I cared about was we had a sumo wrestler you know what come else is after. the biggest scheme ever? Weddings. Podcasting. Podcasting. Whoa. You get it honestly. We it's help like, people. It's like, no, I know. I do I do have a podcast also, but there are times. Plug it. But there are times where I'm like, <laughs> are, yeah, good for you, podcast. Yeah. Um, ba, ba, ba. Ba, ba, ba. I got you. I got you. I'm here for you, baby. I yeah. walked down the street and people are like, ba, ba, ba. I'm like, it scares me every <laughs> time. Like a, a boomer's phone with a next tail, like <laughs> Dude, that is like a boost ringtone. Oh yeah. Bop, bop, bop. Do you uh, have that as a ringtone for sale? No, like it's Whitney. just gotten so much even, bigger than me. And, and we're just when that you, rich. When you forget it's yes. your the thing you came up with, and like someone goes bop bop bop, you like you think they're on oh. math because yeah, that's yeah, yeah. the craziest thing that's a person can just yell. All the videos yell. for me, the people just run up and yell something from a video, and I'm like, what? Yeah. They're like you said it. I'm like. 
Hey, yeah. Just leave me alone. <laughs> yeah, they're like moldy camel toe, and you're like, call the police. Oh, I said that. Yeah. Sorry. That's hilarious. Yeah. yeah. Uh, <laughs> or people will ask you about some some guy came up to me on the street. He goes, How was the dentist yesterday? And I was like, What did you just say? He said, like, You talked about it on your podcast. You went to the dentist the other day. And I was like, Oh, I am. People listen. People yeah. understand so what you're no doing. Idea. I have no idea. And it's so yeah. funny. Well, also, we wow. just riffed the whole time. So I don't, I mean, I think you on your show too do. So it's like, I don't you remember don't what the remember fuck anything. I say. Yeah. When I'm in riff mode, I have no, I'm going to leave here and not know anything I said. So people will just yell at me about stuff. And I have no idea what 